War Diary Day 552 of Russia's war against Ukraine. There are two wars. There is the killing war and there is the information war. Now, the killing war, the Ukrainian army is doing rather well um, against against what was, before this uh, the big war started, what was held to be the second greatest army on, on earth. The Russian army is now the second greatest army in Ukraine. They have been... Uh, defeated time and time again last year. This year um, everything is going more slowly in part because the West has been slow, pitifully slow in providing them with the heavy metal they need. However, um, we're hoping that, there are, that the Zaporizhia front will, um, will break soon and the Russians will be kicked out later this year or very early next year out of the the front south of Kherson and we're hoping for a great new offensive next year, next spring, fingers crossed. On the information war, the story isn't so good. You would have thought with all the mainstream media and people like me, the very much non-mainstream media, that the people would understand the cruelty, the barbarity of the Russian killing machine. Have a look at my film our film, Conan Robinson, Paul Conroy, Serena Zabritsky. It's called now Under Eastern, sorry, Under Deadly Skies, Under Deadly Skies, Ukraine's Eastern Fronts, and it's now out on Apple TV and other places. But the information war isn't going so well because people like Trump and um, his rival uh, Ramas Ramaswamy, they have completely bought and drunk the Kremlin's Kool-Aid. They really, really don't get it that Putin's Russia is fascist and you do a deal with them and like the, like the deal that Putin did with Prigozhin, he will renege on the deal and he will kill again and keep on killing. So, wise up America, what's wrong with you? Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.